and look. Oh, look. Good evening, all. Right, I was watching um, Ramblings Abroad this morning, and uh, it, it struck home a little bit about uh, honesty, truth, friendship, etc. And uh, yeah, I often wonder why I make these videos or some videos. I've done a lot of um, to me. Over the last few months, on Land Rovers. Before that, was the motorhome, uh, Tonka. Sadly gone now. Um, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it struck out because over the last few weeks, especially, I've um, had some sadness in my life. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not. A, I don't know how to explain really. I, I, I tend to go along. I'm, you know. <laughs> as Brian would say, I'm only 54 and uh, I've been retired for a few years and um, I've had um, a fairly good life I've got no complaints but honesty and friendship well I've lost a friend um, who was very dear to me a female friend, uh, very dear to me and uh, literally over the last few days and uh, the last few weeks and um, it's honesty that's what hurts the most the honesty um, and why you become friends with somebody I've known this person for, oh, no names of course I've known this person for many 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 years and um, certain things in our life seem to cross and um, I had certain difficulties and problems with um, my daughter and uh, having a baby at 16, which is uh, two years and ten months ago. And um, my grandson Jacob, who is no longer here, and uh, has been adopted. Um, it is difficult, uh, very, very difficult. And it's very sad. Once again, truth, honesty and lies. But friendship. I don't think sometimes you realise that when you're talking to somebody, you know, you, t you tell me something and talk to me, and as far as I'm concerned, you're telling me a truthful thing. If you tell me, you know, anything, you know, I had two bacon sandwiches this morning, I believe you. Why shouldn't I believe you? If you tell me you're my friend, well, yeah, okay, I'm your friend, that's no problem. But it's the explosion afterwards, I, oh, I've got to be careful to use these words, I, I, I had a strong love for this person and allegedly um, she had a strong love for me and uh, we got on very well. But it's um, a couple of bits and pieces, it's where, where you think that you, you you share time with each other as friends, just friends by the way, friends and uh, you share a lot of things because this person had a, a, a certain issue with one of her daughters and her grandchildren and she was looking after her grandchildren because of a certain situation which of course I can't go in and of course we seem to have uh, clicking together even though she was a, a, a certain amount younger than me um, but we seem to click and I've known her for many years and we, we exchange well, stories various bits and pieces and you name it and we became very very close and uh, she had upset in her life I've had upset in my life and let's put it aside we, we perhaps comforted each other you know this is not like a personal channel like hey ho you know calm down and we took a certain amount of comfort in that well I've got no problem with that and neither did she as I thought and then you look back and you think the signs were there so as a friendship she used to come you know every week you know and she used to help and she used to clean and uh, do various things cleaning and I used to pay her and then the crux of the matter is or the crux of the problem is unbeknown to me she was leading a double life which is her prerogative but it's the way the friendship was 
and the way it hurt me the most is why didn't she tell me? Well, why didn't she feel as though she had to tell me? Is it because, well, I don't really have to tell him anything, he's just a friend. Well, okay, well, then you weren't a friend, was you? And it goes back to that same situation where you share various bits and pieces. In other words, it's called use, so you use that person. So is that a friendship or is that being sort of selfish? So to her, she was like having a double life, as I found out recently. Um, she was single, uh, it was her choice, you know, whatever. Um, but over the last 14, 15, 16 months, I've seen her, and I've seen her well before that. And um, she has literally uh, went on holiday and come back, and she's married. There you go. Never knew nothing about it. So for 12, 14 months, she's been coming to my house every week as a friend, cleaning as a friend doing various odd jobs and earning extra money as a friend. I help her out as a friend. I keep saying this as a friend. And this is what friendship is sometimes, isn't it? You help people out. If anybody comes to me and asks me for something, if I've got it, you can have it. If I haven't got it, you can't have it. If I can help you, I'll help you. There you go. But she couldn't understand, even though she said that she was wrong doing that. And I said, well, why didn't you feel as though that you could say something as a friend? Because m my assumption is if you're friends you can talk about things. Now, I might be selfish and thinking like, well, it was her life, she can do what she wants. Uh, but where you sh shared certain things that you can't really discuss on YouTube, but it's not YouTube discussion. But it's about friendship and loyalty. And if, if I was to, you know, see another woman, she'd be the first to know about it. And if she was hiding the fact of this other chap, this chap who she met on the dating site, so she said, why didn't she say something? And you feel hurt by that. In the meantime, I've got my grandson going on me, not my grandson. I haven't seen my grandson for, well, for over 12 months. He's now gone to uh, full adoption and he's now gone. The only saving grace, I suppose, for that, with friendship and loyalty and everything else, I know who the parents are. I'm not supposed to, but I do. Um, but that's another story. As for my wayward daughter, once again, loyalty, friendship, she wouldn't know the truth if it hit her in the face. She's always got excuses, always makes excuses. It doesn't matter. She's 19 at the moment. Um, she can't see what the problem is and never has. She has a certain uh, issue or problem. Um, but yeah, okay. But friendship and loyalty and family. There's a lot of family never watch much of my videos, never comment on much of my videos. I have family. Um, I don't see much of them. Uh, their choice, not mine. Um, that's up to them. I, I am what you see. But going back to. A certain thing what Bro used to say or what I've said before why do you make these videos look it's like a cathartic thing it's like something you feel as though that it's you're talking to a friend like you say you're talking to a friend and you sometimes need to talk to a friend because when you're in the, the pit of despair and some days I have been in that because I felt so hurt by that that, that this friend who I've known so long and in certain intimacies and whatever for her never to have mentioned that she's got something else on the got somebody else on the side who she is courting, sorting, and whatever, and still using me as a friend to get what she can out of me. That's how I see it in a bad way. I know I shouldn't see it like that, but if she'd have told me as a friend so many months ago, perhaps then my attitude would have changed. I would have still helped my first wife when we got divorced many years ago I seen her last Saturday she came all the way up from where she lives and we had a bit of a reunion and get together with some other friends we didn't, many didn't turn up but that doesn't matter but she came up we speak we're civil and after we got divorced I was still seeing her she was still working for me for a couple of years afterwards I am not a person who will turn around and just like you know oh that's it clear off don't want to see it again 
been married twice. My second one also. I'm afraid the, the, she did exactly the same as the first one in some degree. She met somebody else. And the classic is, as you say, ten years ago, she, off she went. And I've been a single parent for the last uh, nine years. And um, so there you go. So I haven't really had any sort of friendships. And when you go to be a friend with somebody and you become a little bit more friendly with that person, you do get to know that person. Um, and you do get despair sometimes. Why I got so upset, I have no idea. Well, in some respects, I hate to say no, I don't hate to say the word. I do love that person. I had loved that person quite a lot, more than I should have done, perhaps. And um, I suppose that swayed my judgment. But I always thought we would be friends, and I still will be friends. Whether she she feels as uh, that she would like to. She's not cleaning for me anymore, because it goes back to the stereotypical type: is that now she's married, she can't have a friendship with a man. Have you noticed that, people? I've noticed that. You can't have a friendship with a man because everyone seems to be doing something which they shouldn't be doing. Well, I don't. I listened to uh, Janet on Half Show, and uh, sh she was chatting again the other day, and uh, there were some wise words again and uh, various people about, you know, they think they're beyond and above the law and they feel as though they want to make their own rules and old regulations. I'm old school. At the end of the day, if you're, with, if you're with a woman, if you're with somebody, with a partner, whatever, whatever your gender is, whatever, you're with that person. You're not, why, do, why do you want to window shop? If you're saying you're an undying love for that person, why do you want to window shop? Why do you want to sort of think, well, well there might be something better? Why don't you water the grass you're on, not the grass you're the other side, like they are saying. The grass isn't greener. Water the grass you've got. Still. And like the old saying, it's like happiness is best shared. Christopher McCandles. I think I've got the saying right. Christopher McCandles. Uh, Brian will know who that is. And some of you may know who that is, but that doesn't matter. But there, there's somebody else, you know. And you do these videos, it's like a sharing thing where you feel as though that. Um, you're sharing with that person, you have a friend, you're not on your own, even though you are because there's just a camera there, you're not on your own. So yeah, I'm not so very good at sort of like explaining myself, but honestly, you don't realise when you tell someone a lie, how it can affect that person. Something I don't say too much, I used to be a counsellor, and I used to work with the Samaritans for many years. I've had my, I'm not discussing cases, I've had days where it's been very depressing, it's been very sad, and then you go through the motions and you just relieve yourself from the situation, you talk to your partner, not your partner, you talk to your Samaritan partner, and uh, you ease that situation and you talk to various other people, that's not very or there, but you know, I'm used to perhaps listening, seeing and talking. But it's the lie. It's like my daughter. The lies. You know, it's it's just constant there all the time and it just wears you down. You know, when somebody's in a lie, they have to remember everything because they don't know what they've told you. If you tell the truth, you haven't got to remember anything because it's always there. We all tell little white lies. We all do. I don't care what anybody says. We all tell little white lies. We all keep things, you know. I won't tell the wife about I bought her something nice, etc. You're telling a lie. You're not saying nothing. You know, it, it's little bits and pieces. But you've got to find time for yourself. My, my attitude has changed over the last 12 months, 18 months. Where I thought of one thing, I've realised it's not working for me like that where this hopefully might work for me, you know, where I go in my little 109, my little Land Rover, and I do a bit of camping. At the moment, yeah, okay, I've took on a little bit of a project which I shouldn't have done, but you know something, why not? Who's to tell me what I shouldn't and shouldn't do? If I think I can squeeze this in before I move, then I'll do that. Anyway, love, truth, honesty, it means so much. It means so much.
you do not realise when you tell someone a lie how it can affect that person and when you keep telling that person you know and you keep reiterating and it's just a lie and then like me I found out it destroyed me somewhat because I felt as though well there was no trust there is no trust how can you trust that person and all that person is concerned about is in case I say something to somebody but all I don't want to meddle all the, all the help and support we gave each other means nothing her children never knew that she used to come here she never told them 18 months <laughs> 18 months every week twice a week sometimes she used to come here her children don't her one child at home doesn't know she's 15 doesn't know and never knew that her mom used to come here every week twice a week sometimes and get oh, that sounds murder and get money but and has got money because she's got a low paid job and she needed money and there you go so I helped out that's it her family know nothing her work colleagues know nothing nobody knows nothing I'm a shadow as I've put a shadow in her life that hurts I don't want a medal I don't want someone to pat me on the back I don't want someone to say oh no no but never mind never mind I just want it honest and truth there you go you get that from me so, is this really a YouTube channel from me? Uh, a YouTube video from me? I don't know. Um, some people want to know this and questions and answers why I sold my motor home because I'm on my own. I've got nobody. And like I said, you know, great big space. And, and Brian knows and one or two other knows when the bigger ones. Uh, Jolene and David love their channel. Uh, sadly gone now. But they, they took themselves somewhere and then realised that they like that style and so they change and you can change nobody's telling you that you have to do this way that way the other way you can do whatever you like don't be a slave to the man don't be and that's it don't be a slave just I'm doing a Brian in there. Brian sorry not Brian So that's a piece of me. That's my personal thing. I've said nothing out of the out of the ordinary. I've got nothing that nobody can find out about. But honest and friendship go hand in hand. I lost a, a friend in November. Never realised because we haven't spoke for many years. His name was Steve Owen. I'll mention his name because he's no longer here. We worked together. We had a unit together. You know, you name it, and we had some great year, great years, and then we we fell out because I decided that I didn't want to work for myself anymore after 20 years, and I went and worked for work, work for somebody, and we just had a little bit of a fallout, nothing really, and I hadn't spoke for years, and then suddenly found out he literally a month or two back that he'd passed away with cancer. He was only in his 50s. Devastating. And I kept saying every year, I must, I must try and contact him, I must try and contact him. Never did. So sad. But, truth. Truth. Honesty. It means so much you wouldn't believe it. Some people believe their own lies. Friendship. You know. What is friendship? I don't know. But anyway. I'm going to crawl across this video turn it off um, is this an insight into my life I don't know um, where do I go from here I don't know I know where I want to go I do want to travel a bit more and I'm going to travel a bit more I have put barriers up I have made excuses um, but I'll finish these jobs off I've got to do I've, I'm not very materialistic and uh, it's only a cheap Canon, Canon, Canon camera uh, I've got two of them. One is a backup. I always carry two. I've got this for ten pound off eFly. So there you go. So that's all I use, and that's all I want to use. You know, I did went to buy another camera, but it got ripped off. But anyway, so that's it. 
I hope that's a bit of an insight into um, my life and why I make videos sometimes and, and perhaps as you say um, when you listen to somebody like Brian Brambles a Bride and uh, Janet from the Life on the Half Shell uh, Madagasi Travels, I like you as well, thank you. Steam Wallet, Phil from Steam Wallet, makes some cracking videos on Land Rover stuff and inj engines. He's only in his mid uh, 30s and uh, really fascinating. Um, and of course, uh, I'm watching uh, Kareen at the moment, uh, a lady from Scotland, very nice lady, and uh, cooking various other uh, tips and trips. And uh, really nice, uh, you know, I'll get on with her. Uh, sorry, get on with her. That's, you know, but you know, I enjoy her channel and uh, pure living for life. Uh, a nice couple in is it America up north, somewhere Canada, away, whatever. I don't know, but I watch those. And uh, what a cracking little channel that is. And uh, as you say, but, and of course, you know, I watch occasionally uh, Matt and uh, Marty, and uh, who have met one or two of them. One of them, and I've met Brian, of course. But anyway, enough said. Honesty and friendship go hand in hand. You know, when you have to lie to a friend and then you find out it's devastating. It was for me, it was devastating. It was just a lie. You know, like the double life and you never knew. You know, I'm not bitter, not twisted. It just upset me. It upset me. Losing my grandson the same week as well. You know, going officially to adoption, which doesn't matter, it's gone. Can't do nothing about it. Once the social services, the evil bastard, evil people get into it. No evil bastards they are. Once they get into it, that's it. You're stuffed. You're stuffed. I'm too old, too infirm. I couldn't look after him, so they wouldn't let me have him. There you go. Wanted to, but I wouldn't. Anyway, enough said. Cheers, folks. Catch you all again soon.